Yo, Yankees fans, what is up? The Yankees have reached a five-game winning streak. Sonny Gray had another poor performance, just like I mentioned in my previous video. I said, every time Sonny Gray hits the mound, you're going to get a sub-poor outing. And this is what we saw. It's not going to change. Maybe he'll have a few games here and there, but he's not in the American League picture. Just view... How he pitches, he pitches low. That would be better suited for the National League. So, Tyler Austin bailed him out. He had a huge game. First, he bailed him out with a three-run home run. Then, I believe it wasn't in the top of the eighth or top of the seventh. I don't remember. But um, he bailed out the Yankees once again. A diving catch in foul territory that bailed out the Yankees. If the at-bat continued, the Twins could have been looking at a comeback. So Tyler Austin is giving Greg Bird some competition. In my opinion, Tyler Austin is not, let's say, a Rob Rush Snyder where you plug him in there just to fill in spots. Tyler Austin on any team will be a stud. Tyler Austin, like I said, is not one of these utility prospects that, let's say, somebody goes down, you plug him in right field, left field, or whatever position you believe that he can play. Tyler Austin kind of reminds me of Maglio Ordonez. Some people were like, wow, I'm crazy. But look at his stance. I'm not saying he's going to have a similar career to him, but he has that pop and he has that same build as Ordonez. And Tyler Austin has proven this spring training that he can hit he has proven that he can hit in the regular season. The only reason you're seeing Tyler Austin perform the way he's performing is because he's actually getting a chance. He had a whole bunch of injuries. Remember, Tyler Austin was called up when Aaron Judge was called up. We gave Aaron Judge a chance in 2017 when he had a horrible 2016 when he got called up. Tyler Austin never got the same chance Aaron Judge got. The Yankees were as high on Tyler Austin as they were on Aaron Judge. If you ask me, the Yankees were higher on Tyler Austin when they originally called him up in 2016. So like I said on this channel, if you're paying attention, I said Tyler Austin will be a great replacement for Greg Bird. He is that type of player playing full-time that will hit you 25 to 30 home runs. He has that pop. He has that fire within him. We all saw it when he brawled with the Red Sox. People would just love a player like that on their team. So it's going to be really difficult for the Yankees to choose between Greg Bird and Tyler Austin. If you ask me, you have to trade one of those two players. These two players can be studs on any team playing full-time. Like I said, do not compare Tyler Austin to a utility prospect. Tyler Austin on any team will give you solid at-bats and production. He is also mentally tough. He's had hardships in his life where he had a battle cancer, etc. So he's, we know he's hardcore. So in this situation, Tyler Austin was the perfect backup for Greg Bird. Originally, people were like, uh, I don't know. But my opinions never change. I've always backed Tyler Austin, I said he's going to be a great replacement for Greg Bird, and I even said he might even do better than him. Also, D.D. Gregorius just continues to be scorching hot. Obviously, top three in all the baseball shortstops next to, obviously, Carrera and Machado. Does D.D. Gregorius make the All-Star team this year? Of course, in my opinion, he will if he keeps it up at this pace, and he deserves to be an All-Star finally. So, Yankees fans, five in a row. If you paid attention to my previous video, I stated, hey, the Yankees need to go on a hot streak. They need to sweep teams. And tomorrow, they have the perfect situation to do so. This will boost their confidence. Great that it happened early in the season. So, expect the Yankees to consistently sweep teams. If Brandon Drury comes back, I think it throws off their chemistry. I don't know. If they plug him in that fast, but knowing Cashman and how he loves players that he targets for years, Andahor will sit down and Brandon Jury will see more time. In my opinion, this is the wrong move. 
I would keep and continue to play Andahor at third base. They have a pretty good chemistry going on right now. Torres reminds me of Cano at second base where his defense is just solid and automatic. He made a few great plays tonight as well. So Yankees fans, let's hope Montgomery, who is 2-0, continues this streak. Like I said, that's the recipe for a world championship team. Winning series, sweeping teams, just overpowering other teams with pitching and offense. So Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.